Hello and welcome back. We are finally back for another uh, episode of Does This Podcast Suck? This is actually episode 29, and I think it's been damn near a month since we've done one. That's so, all right. I, no, I think no. we could say it was uh, Destiny that <laughs> this well, is the first AD this, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, actually. <laughs> Might as, well, might, might as well just call this podcast episode one AD. <laughs> it, was, it was destined to happen. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. See you well, next week. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, but, ser- but seriously, though, no. thank you for joining us uh, right now. <laughs> That's yeah. Um, anyway, Webhead is here. Hello, Webhead. Hello. I don't know why I'm doing the hosting, but I'm not upset about it. We like to make uh, things up sometimes. <laughs> We're Isn't wacky that way. The, you're the one who made us do this. <laughs> we could be playing Destiny, you shitbag. You're gonna record a podcast. And you're gonna like it, motherfucker. <laughs> Kyle's probably have is probably playing it right now. He probably is. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not gonna say that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> well, let's let's be fair. If we could both concentrate on doing that and this podcast at the same time, we'd probably be, probably be doing it as well. I could, but I, yeah, I have the attention span of a moth, so. <laughs> <laughs> and as we also mentioned, Kyle is here. I am. Surprise, surprise. So, since obviously Destiny is our big game of the the, the time the being, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that at some point, since it's kind of... It's going to all, take a big chunk. It's, it's pretty much all we've been doing game-wise over the past month, so we'll get to yeah. that in a minute. But first, we're going to start out with some news stories. Um, one of the big ones that happened while we were gone is um, Microsoft bought Mojang for $2.5 billion. It's, it's funny because you keep seeing them say, we bought Mojang. Like, that actually means they bought a company that does something else. Like, anyone bought, gives a fuck about they bought the They bought the name Mojang, basically. And then, like, yeah, a lot like, of the people that made the company Mojang, and, like, yeah. people that were still working there are now gone. Basically, yeah. literally well, the second it sold, all three of the co-founders <laughs> left. Well, we're done. Goodbye. <laughs> fuck you, Microsoft. Even oh. before the sale was done, <laughs> the, guy, the, the guy's like, yeah, if we sell to Microsoft, I'm out. And I was just like, <laughs> all righty then, Notch. Goodbye. You're selling oh. your fucking game to the devil, but, you know, whatever. Who knows how much of that of work on that game he's been doing since it went huge anyway, oh, so... Shit, it's been... Some other guy's been doing all the work anyway. I was reading about it and kind of getting a feel for what was going on. Notch, Notch does nothing. He's just rich and, like, <laughs> dicks around at this point. Because he has, like, an ungodly sum of money from this, probably. Yeah. And, like, buys Humble Bundles from what looks like Yeah, he just drops, like, hundreds <laughs> of thousands of dollars every year on Humble Bundles. <laughs> Amazing to me that damn, almost a billionaire now for fucking Minecraft, of all things. Yeah. The shittiest looking game I think <laughs> I've seen since I was, like, a child. It is ridiculously addictive. That's one of those, that's one of those ones that I just, I don't get. Like, I've... Nope. I have no well, interest in it. <laughs> It's if you just if it's if you're creative, it can be fun. The thing for me is it I just it I play it for a while and then I just get bored. There's no point to it. Like Terraria, I put fucking tons of hours because like there were bosses and like I don't know the the combat was enough to keep me more interested. You know, like they cut they took the concept of like mining and stuff and added like weapons and cool shit to it, whereas. Minecraft was more about creating a world. It was more fun in a way because Minecraft's 3D and you get this whole world and Terraria is basically, a, you know, a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's fun. And it's fun, too, to set up your own servers because it's, like, stupidly easy any moron can do it. You and did you it. Just play with your friends. hey Hey, I run our server, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I run the server this podcast is downloaded from. Ha-ha! But yeah, I, this move, the move here though, like, I don't, I don't see what the point of this is. Like, I guess, I guess if they just want to make money, but like, I really wonder how much Minecraft's even selling anymore. But I mean, I know they got some, you know, they got the next gen versions in the pipeline and they just did a PS3 version, right? It almost makes me wonder, is Microsoft going to fuck with that, or are they going to be smart and just continue to make money? Yeah, that's kind of like the big question there, is are they going to pull support on those, or are they just going to let it ride and bring in the money? And most people, even kids, like they want it on PC, because that's where everyone's playing. Yeah. 
on console, it's like a shadow of of the PC version because there's no mods. Yeah, I know. Like one of my kids, like he's fucking like frothing at the mouth, like wanting <laughs> that. I'm like, why? Why do you want? It? I know, like, my cousin wants it, like, just, I'm like, wait, how do you even know what this is? <laughs> this is, like, some fucking weird indie game in my mind, but, like, fucking everyone, it's like, it's like Angry Birds, almost, and it, yeah. it's saturation of the market. Yeah, there's, like, you see all those weird fucking, like, things in stores for it, too, like, yeah. the cardboard costumes weapons and even. shit. The costumes of, like, the bricky, <laughs> shitty-ass-looking heads. And- <laughs> yeah. This is news I don't really want to get into, but it's kind of tangentially related, and I'm just going to mention it for the sake of mentioning it. There's going to be a fucking Angry Birds movie. Yeah, they they have a cartoon and everything. Like they like, uh, uh, if I remember uh, correctly, Rovio flat out said that they're more interested in marketing the brand well, any more than the actual well. games. What yeah. the fuck? Is the, the game is like the most simplistic bullshit ever. Well, they're yeah. they're getting heavy on the licensing too. They're doing like a Angry Anybody Birds Transformers. I can't even do that. What? I can't yeah. even get mad. How can you get mad at them? Yeah. But like they're I mean, fucking geniuses. Every yeah. kid on the fucking planet that's ever even touched a smartphone has played Angry Birds. Hell, I've played Angry Birds. A like, lot. fucking Why? from, like, three years old to, like, well, I don't know how old people use phones, to, like, 45. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Like, probably even old people, even. Like, that, that game is fucking, like, it's insane, and they they are incredibly just. It's ingenious. Like you see this shit, and you just groan. But like they're rolling around on just sacks of fucking money, yep. like old fashioned like potato sacks with dollar signs on them. <laughs> they're yeah, no, rolling I, around on like they stuff their mattress with it. I can't it's say uncomfortable, funny, but they don't either. care because it's money. Like they're they're fun too. I'll give them that. Like I mean, yeah. Really... I don't get how it became so big. Like, I play it for five minutes, and then I'm done. Like, that's five <laughs> minutes, like, a week, maybe, if that, a month. It's like, oh, I'm fucking bored right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for my food. <laughs> well, that's all you really need it for, honestly. And that's why it's perfect. You play yeah. it for, like, a minute, and you can be a level. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's it's incredible how, like, how much licensing this thing has gotten. I can't believe a fucking movie is being made. <laughs> Like about what? Yeah, they've been doing like cartoon shorts for like about a year now, I think. In a world where birds are angry. <laughs> well, they, they just announced like the cast the other day, and I think Jonah Hill is one of the people in it, and I don't remember anybody else, but it's like, wow. Yeah. It's going to be the Lego movie all over again. I want to take this opportunity to say KK is a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jason Sudeikis, uh, Josh Gad, Kenny McBride, Bill Hader, Maya Rudolph, and Peter Dinklage. What? That's just the start Is of it. Is he going to phone this one in, too? <laughs> I guess we'll see. I'm a Jesus. bird and I'm angry. Let me get into that one. <laughs> that crow came from the moon. You were great. You were great in X-Men, Mr. Dinklage, but Jesus. <laughs> yeah. in, in whatever, Game of Thrones. I don't watch that. No one cares. No one on my head. <laughs> no I think a lot of people actually care head. about that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I know I'm just being an ass. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, hey. So, so yeah, I I really think this whole Mojang thing is going to turn into like the same thing that happened with Rare. They bought the name, and then like they're going to churn yeah. out shit from this point on. I just I hope they just leave it the fuck alone. Yeah. There just there is nothing they can do that will be good. That's really nothing that they would do would be a good thing for the game. Just straight up. If they just want to own it and make money off it, fine. Do that. Keep just let them. Clearly, what they've been doing is working really fucking good because they've made like a billion dollars. So just let them keep doing it. Don't fuck with it. Don't cancel any of the versions because that's just money. That's the smart play. No one's going to give a fuck if they can't get it on PS3 and go buy it on x Like, they're not. They're going to fucking get it for PC because that's where, like, 90% of the player base is. Or fucking, like, they have, like, a mobile version, too, so... Like, no one is going to buy an Xbox to play Minecraft. It's just not going to happen. So don't fuck with what they're doing. Just <laughs> leave it alone. That is the smart play. Just rake in the money, and you've made a smart move for once. It's going to happen eventually. So, the broken clock is right twice a day. Right. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is everything. <laughs> well, yeah. 
We'll see. I, I don't have high hopes for that. But then again, I was never the big Mojang slash Minecraft fan to begin with. Yeah, I mean, it's that game's pretty much dead to me at this point anyway, but still. It's it dead still to me, exist. you hear me? Dead! You're dead to me. Dead! Microsoft. While we're on the subject of Microsoft, the uh, Xbox One uh, launched in Japan back in September. Uh, the 4th of September, actually. And as uh, since then... Oh, let's see... From September 4th to September 7th, they sold 23,000 units. To the shock of absolutely no one. <laughs> and I, to, I was to, uh, this before, because it's like, I kind of wonder, it's 23,000. Literally, like, half of that has to be Americans in Japan. <laughs> like, there's no fucking way. And how sad are those numbers? Yeah, Less especially when, when, you, can, when you consider the PlayStation 4 sold 322,000 in two days. And yeah. the Wii U was uh, over three hundred thousand in their launch weekend. Yeah, so apparently the Wii U Microsoft did is well, yeah, apparently. Microsoft is not doing well. Surprise, surprise. Twenty three thousand, like that could just be like the people in their office, even like <laughs> that's sad. That's not wonder, even a launch. I wonder how many they actually manufactured. Like how much of how many Xboxes are sitting on shelves in Japan? <laughs> I don't know. It's just that's sad. I wonder like, what the, uh, the numbers are right now. Yeah, I almost like, wonder, like, if, if the, the original, like, sh- shipment to Japan is, like, still not sold out. I don't know. That'd be funny, though. <laughs> and they always do that bullshit. I just wish that they would stop lying to us on sales numbers and tell us what they sold, not what they shipped. We know the game that you're playing. Quit lying. <laughs> stop. The Xbox 360 sold almost three times as many. Three... Again, not surprising. I think they're sitting at right now. Uh, 360 says 62,000 units at the yep. time. Xbone right now uh, is sitting yeah. at 30,000. 0.03 of a million is 30,000, right? Yeah. Fuck me, that's sad. <laughs> that's after a month. Oh my god, that is. That's that's almost an entire month. Because VG <laughs> Charts gets their updates, I think, at the end of the month. Or maybe it's every week. I don't know. All I know is, damn, <laughs> that's not looking so good. I, I mean, it, I, you know, what did they expect, though? Any American yeah. console in Japan that has no fucking Japanese software. Mm. And everyone knows the, the Japanese are a bit xenophobic when it comes to this kind of stuff. Look and there's just long, nothing to cater to them. How long they took to just bother to even release it, too. Like, they yeah. obviously weren't expecting much there. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I guess we'll throw you a fucking bone, whatever. <laughs> There you probably go, have some of that. Probably didn't even settle on releasing it there until they fucking realized that they just needed the numbers. <laughs> so until they just edit whatever little amount it would be, it counts. They're just using the fucking servers from Europe to... <laughs> they're like, you're not even going to put any servers here, <laughs> fuck you guys. We use the Australian ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously, though, that's sad. And sad I, I can't. But not unexpected. I'm not a fanboy, but I am like an anti Microsoft, so this gives me the giggles. And they already wrestled my jimmies with the with the Minecraft, so I saw this immediately after and I was like, Ah That's the type of person that I am. <laughs> so now EA, um, as some people may or may not have heard, they for in two thousand twelve and two thousand thirteen they were voted the worst company in America by consumers. Uh, their current head, uh, Andrew Wilson, is trying to change that, and they're so far they're off to a terrible start, from as far as I can tell. Yeah, Sims Four are not doing so good. Well, uh, that, I... they ended up cutting like what half the game, probably between four and three. Yeah, what were the sales numbers like on that? I'm actually kind of wondering. Like, did it launch to pretty much like eh, a collective meh? <laughs> like, it's not know. on the global top sellers. I imagine a decent chunk of their fan base probably doesn't follow, like, news about video games, so I imagine they still sold a decent amount, but probably nowhere near what they were expecting. Yeah, it's just... Oh my. I wonder how long this applies. I'm looking at The Sims 4 on VG charts, but it looks like total they have less than a million. But I, that can't be right. That Has that even be... been out? Like, a couple <laughs> weeks? That's pretty sad if that's true. <laughs> it's been out... Came out over here in September second. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. they even put out a thing saying uh, if The Sims Four isn't successful, there may not be a Sims Five. 
they're putting out statements like this. That's ooh, that's not good. No, but, but again, this is, this is a similar situation to Mojang. I could care less. I just found that amusing too. After the uh, the whole "we're gonna try to do better" thing, and then somebody says that it's like they're fucking holding it hostage. It's what like one of the biggest selling. Game but buy it or else, ever. you motherfuckers. Like, how about... Uh, stay with me here. You make the game at least as good as the one that came before it. I, I know it's crazy. Yeah, that's... <laughs> like, when it's something that big, like, that franchise is fucking enormous. And to do that, it's like, really? I mean, it wasn't EA themselves that said that. It was one of the guys that actually works on the game. But still... Yeah, I don't... Uh, it's like if you... <laughs> It's not like you just pumped this thing out in the last year. Like, you, you've got to have been working on it for a bit. Like, put some fucking effort into it. Like, if it's not ready, don't announce it. Well, we couldn't get into the the thing. Well, try harder. Don't release a game that's not fucking done. Like, I, I don't know why that's so difficult for them. Like, oh, well, we had to... They, they had to just, like, their excuses are sad. Like, oh, we were oh, they, doing it, but, you know, it's real hard to do stuff. Like, no, no shit. That's probably why we pay you $60 per copy. Yeah, their, their excuses were basically, well, we had to make a new game. Yeah, stuff is hard. Oh, well, no, sh- no shit you had to make a game, bad, but it, it didn't have to bad. be, you don't have to rush the thing out the door. Well, yeah. So, like I said, they have plenty of fucking time. They've been selling bazillions of content packs for The Sims 3, so... And Sims 2, and, you know, they've always done that, so... Yeah, that's... Like, can't be hurting for money on those. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised they pushed back the release of Battlefield Hardline to next year. Well, it looks like poop, so... Yeah, it do- I mean, it does, but... <laughs> the fact yeah, that they actually acknowledged it before, ta- b- before it came out... The Why did they make it an expansion? <laughs> Uh, the interview with the CEO, he actually pulled that one out too. He's like, "Oh yeah, like you know, we totally pushed this back because, <laughs> you know, that we're trying. That's why we did it because you know we're normally we pump them out all the time." And like, that statement alone, so normally you would have just released it shitty. Yeah, pretty much. Like we have to congratulate you for not putting out shit. <laughs> what? No, just don't put out shit. I don't understand. Mind-boggling. Like, give us a fucking pat on the back for not releasing a completely shitty unfinished game, and then, well, except that this one we just did is completely unfinished and shitty. So, you know, whatever. Mind-blowing. So, no, you still suck ass, EA. And I got one of those, uh, they asked us to tell me, uh, tell them how, if I would recommend Origin to a friend, and I was like, (laughs) yeah, I'll give that a five. (laughs) <laughs> and I put, you know, like, you guys are fucking stupid. I hate you and you smell like poop. But no, I <laughs> I pretty much wrote out, like, okay, you guys are fuckers. And, like, by comparison, like, Ubisoft has their own client and they didn't remove all their fucking games from Steam. You guys are shitheads. Yeah. Also, your store has terrible navigation and your sales are shit. <laughs> so, get with the fucking program. <laughs> At least they have sales, because I remember their whole, oh, no, oh, yeah. we, we won't do that because it cheapens the IP. We don't want IP. to cheapen the IP. You, yeah, yeah, you never cheapen IP by pumping out 1,400 <laughs> fucking sequels. Oh, Battlefield 4 coming this fall. Fuck you, okay? Cheapen IP. Everything they buy, they pump out almost as bad as Activision. Well, at least they don't literally do it every year with, oh, well, yeah, I guess Battlefield has been every year now. Well, not with the delay of Hardline. I'll give them that. <laughs> They do it with other stuff, though, like Need for Speed. Chief, every single it. sports thing ever. Yeah. Oh, there's actually not going to be a Need for Speed this year. They're just going to re-release last year's game with like yeah, a Game of the Year was, edition. That was another one of his uh, <laughs> things that he carted out. Oh, couldn't, yeah, we, we couldn't, couldn't be find... to make a new one, so <laughs> here's the old one. Yeah, yeah like that's really a, uh, a, a... I don't know how to word it, but like that's not really a stopgap measure. No. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a fucking... Is it's it, a it's cash like, grab. That's all is it this, is. Is this real? Am I really seeing this happening? Or like, like, who is watching this and going, oh, okay. Like, who are they talking to? This, like, mythical person that's going to believe the things that they're saying. Like, who the fuck is buying this? Why do they even say this shit? No one... The only thing is, I can think of is I it's just, like a... It's a fucking board of directors thing. Like, he says this shit so that it sounds like... Something that they think that we would believe, so it yeah. appeases them. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing either. That's the, that's the best guess I can come up with is it's all like showboating for more, like, you know, the board. Because, yeah, we certainly don't buy any of that shit. Just stop making these statements in the public. Tell your board of directors that and then tell us something that's not yeah. fucking retarded. Give them a fucking PowerPoint presentation or something. Just, it's like they honestly just think we're all fucking stupid. Like, just, you can tell. Oh, well, here's some new bullshit to shovel down your throat. No, um, I don't think I'll have any of that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm full. <laughs> Got my, uh... I've already got my filling of bullshit from you from, you know, the last 10 years you've been operating. So if you could go ahead and not do that, great. It just, it always boggles my fucking mind. (laughs) I read the things they put out and I just, I'm like, I can't, like, someone wrote this with the intention of convincing someone else with it. Like, who? (laughs) Children? Are they talking to children? Because you know how easily swayed they are, but (laughs) still... Must be all the people that buy EA Sports games. hey <laughs> So in, in slightly happy happier EA news, they're actually going to uh, release uh, Sims 4 DLC for free to bring back some of the cut content that they took out from 3 to 4, uh, including bringing back pools. Yay! <laughs> I think the other thing that I mentioned was like uh, like career paths and stuff like that because they had cut that down really bad. But yeah, yeah it's like a uh, good job on doing what you should have done in the first yeah. place, I guess. Good job on releasing the rest of The Sims 4. Like it's, <laughs> it's one of those weird things where it's like, you know, you almost want to congratulate them because they're not charging for it, which seems like the fir- their first go-to. At the same time, I bet you anything they would have charged for it if there hadn't been such an enormous fucking backlash about the game in the first place. Right. Whatever. I mean, if I don't know if they keep doing stuff. Yeah. If if they really were serious about not being a totally shitty company, Hardline should cost about half of what you know they're going to charge because it's a fucking expansion. Battlefield Vietnam looked like more meat to it than this. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. It's a fucking expansion. It I have to wonder boggles too. the fucking mind. Even when they talk about, oh, well, they've fixed up all the net code. Like, yeah, because you're a fucking add-on to Battlefield 4. Every time they fix something, it fixes your game because it's the same game. I was actually thinking, too, I can't help but wonder if, like, part of the reason they pushed it back wasn't because of that, like, but because of all the shit that's been in the news about over-militarized police forces <laughs> yeah, they blowing really shit had up. bad timing on that. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, could you have possibly picked the worst <laughs> fucking time? And on so the that's... news, the police shoot a black kid for holding his hands up in the air and, hey, Battlefield Hardline! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't help but think that maybe that has a little bit to do with the two. <laughs> the game's done, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the first thing they're going to do with, with Sims 4 is they're going to add ghosts so a dead Sims can Ooh. now come back. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I guess You're it is dead on over, so... Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. And then also there will be four Star Wars-inspired costumes again. Yay! Yay. I can't even give a fuck. <laughs> I, I just can't. The game is terribly... I had fucks to give, know. but I misplaced them. No, I really, I, I, ne- I started with none, because back in, oh, I don't know, when was the game made? Like 2001? Played it for about 10 minutes and went, nope, not for me. Yeah, I didn't even get that far. I watched somebody play it, and I was like, what? Well, yeah, wow, that's actually what that's... I did. I had a friend who pirated everything ever, even more than I used to. Of course, he had that on his computer, because he actually had the internet at his house. And I watched this, and I'm like, this is fucking stupid. I got the same, like sense of like inner depression and like boredom <laughs> that I got from watching somebody play Sim City. <laughs> this is like watching some shitty reality show. Why the fuck would anyone do this? <laughs> it sells to those same people too. It totally sells to the same audience. They should make a Sims fucking reality show or something. <laughs> They'd make billions. Sims Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Probably they didn't try harder for like an online one because I know they did that once, but that was like when you know online games were a little bit iffy. Well, they definitely should do online with The Sims. Do they not have online? They I really they don't know. I want to say they did one at between two and three. There was a Sims Online, but it well, was not, not like a Sims MMO, like a Sims fucking you play with your buddies thing. 
Something well, that's yeah, that's what I think it was. It wasn't an MMO or anything. Oh, like okay. I mean, I just, I, then what do you even do though? What are you? Yeah, going to sit at a bar together watching your characters do nothing. Yeah, I would imagine that's probably why I didn't really go anywhere. Is they they probably just, didn't really have any good kind of focus for it. It's like the same thing. Like you don't get people playing Minecraft, but there's like even less shit to do. <laughs> 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 kind of like that. It's like a really shitty watered down Minecraft experience. Where well, I mean they. I don't know. They, maybe they backed off too because there are games like that already. Like there's that Second Life game that apparently people play. <laughs> apparently, I don't know. But you, like I don't get that either. Like it's literally you, you Second Life. Like it's you you do normal things, but it's an MMO and like people get all into that shit. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not, not a role player. Though, not either, not so. to really not to really defend that, but there are actually ways people can make money out of like, out of Second Life. Oh, so yeah, I guess no, some people I, do that. But yeah, because they yeah, even, well, they can do that on Eve too. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, but Eve is more fucking spreadsheets than game. <laughs> spreadsheet Excel, the game. Five five spreadsheets. <laughs> it sometimes has ships in space. <laughs> Google Docs, the video game. <laughs> oh, and they've had those big battles in Eve, though. That is, actually is pretty impressive to watch. Yeah, to watch. I bet actually being involved is probably <laughs> boring as fuck. It'd be, it's like, sometimes that kind of shit, it's just I can't get into it because it, it gets too real. Like, that, when things get real, think shit gets boring. <laughs> like, when people say, oh, this game's too easy, I'm too powerful, and it's like, that's why I fucking play games. I want to just rape everything on the screen. Like, I want to kill everything that I can see in seconds. Just, blah! That's fun. <laughs> Like when I played Titan on Destiny and I went, ah, and a big group of shit and blew up, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. That is completely unrealistic. Realism just, eh. like when you play Battlefield and you die in like three shots and you're like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> oh, it's realistic. I want to fucking play games to be realistic. If I want to be realistic, I'd go get a gun and shoot things. Like I could do that but I suck at it because that's real life. <laughs> it's also kind of illegal. You can't just... <laughs> this is America. I can go shoot a gun any goddamn time I want. Yeah, you just gotta find somebody who isn't white and is wearing a hoodie. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, uh, let's not get too political here. <laughs> well, he, he lives in Arizona. I'm pretty sure he can get away with it. Well, I meant like shooting cans, not people. <laughs> Interesting you both jumped to that first, though. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't make it a race thing, Kyle. <laughs> I didn't either. This is why we can't have people nice things. People that shoot other people did. <laughs> it's okay. There's no colored people in Minnesota. We don't have to worry. You have no idea. <laughs> <sighs> both right up. now. Shut up, California. <laughs> So in a tangent, tangentially related, <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. I'm, I'm... You should just avoid it because it just sounds like you're saying tangentials. <laughs> Why not? We, I'm not. Yeah, let's just move, <laughs> let's not talk about not those. Even that. <laughs> no, let's move on. You shouldn't. They're probably sunburned. How about how, how about this? Here's a decent segue from talking about Second Life. PlayStation Home is being shut down. Oh. Right, next story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I tried playing that twice. And like, on once when I first day. got a PS3, and again like five years later when I was like, "Oh yeah, this is still a thing." Like I don't, I literally think no one cares. Like that article went up, and everyone went, "Yeah, pretty much." Like there was always a lot of people in it, but like it, it was so weird. Like it's got to be populated by like ten-year-olds. There's just no other explanation. Ten-year-olds and like basement nerds like i literally have no other games but this because i played them all and i'm <laughs> 10 and i don't even have allowance and this is what i have i watch trailers in playstation home <laughs> this yeah. is my existence <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know it was still a thing <laughs> i didn't either i'm honestly surprised that it didn't already get shut down yeah well apparently people used it quite a bit because like i said i tried it like for like you know i want to say it was about a year ago now just to see, like, that it was, was in fact, still a thing. And there was a lot of people in it, so... 
I remember I when know. it was first coming out and they kept talking about it. Sony seems to be really good at making really stupid things sound cool. I don't know how yeah. they do it. It's almost like there's some sort of like Apple fucking distortion well, <laughs> going on. And when it actually oh. launched and I got it, I was like, yeah. And then I opened it up and about five minutes later, I was like, yep, never opening this again. <laughs> Very much. Yeah, like the the worst thing about it too was like I mean like yeah they do that but then they themselves forget about those things too. <laughs> hey, remember that thing we told you about? Neither do we. <laughs> exactly. So as of March thirty first, twenty fifteen, PlayStation Home will be no more, and about ten people are probably crying their eyes out about now. And that many? Being generous. The Sony president and the vice president and... <laughs> and, and the guy who, who programmed PlayStation Home. <laughs> the, the two people that programmed it. <laughs> no, my baby. The server admin who is now out of a job. Please repurpose those servers for PlayStation Plus. Please, for the love of Christ, it runs like ass. Or for PSN, you know what I mean. Every time a Destiny update comes out, everything goes... <laughs> Uh, to be fair, it, it does run a lot better on PS4 than it ever did on PS3. The PSN? Well, yeah. The PSN but again, that's not really saying much. Yeah, exactly. No, it's really not. I think my own server might run better than that. Speaking of <laughs> PSN and PS Plus, apparently the price is going up. In a bunch of countries, no one listening to this podcast lives in. Not even a bunch of countries. I wonder if they just threw darts. And I, need to, out who. I need to make a small... Well, there are countries like Russia and the Ukraine who historically have, like, incredibly decreased prices for everything. Like, people will buy games, like, through proxies and try to get them from Russia because they're cheap as fuck. Or Mexico. Like, with Origin, there's a trick to buy from Mexico. And uh, it's just... I can only assume they're like, you know, maybe that's a little low. It's it's Russia, the Ukraine, and Turkey. And South, and Africa. South Africa. So And then, of course, in, in their usual fashion, uh, the escapist, known for their journalistic prowess. My favorite. I, their headlines are just, they're the best. PS Plus price doubling in some territories. And then you read the article, and it's like, yeah, the subscription hike will be 50% more. And it's like, hey, God. Did you pass fourth grade math? <laughs> Psst, 50 isn't 200. Shh, don't tell anyone, though. Like, what? <sighs> and then, as always, too, like, somehow they've qu- they've gotten their information from another store- source and still fucked it up. Like, someone already did the work for them, and they couldn't be bothered to fucking do that. The, the, the title on the, you know, on the Game Informer thing that they took it from was PlayStation Plus Rates Hike Hit Some Territories. And somehow they get doubling in theirs because they're fucking a horrible clickbait site. And I think, well, honestly, at this point, we just use this site so we can make fun of it. You're terrible. <laughs> You're lucky that you have Yahtzee because, dear God. <laughs> yeah, like, that's I mostly use it for their videos and then, like, the articles just kind of happen. <laughs> oh, look in the sidebar. <clears throat> Why are you still here? <laughs> Like they have, they have like a couple of good articles here and there, and they've like I like some of the decisions they've made, but yeah, like I don't know what goes on They're with some awful. of those people. I mean, I just the more I see j- quote unquote journalism in video games is is just shit. Most of the stuff they're reporting on is meaningless, stupid. No one even should give a fuck, or they're like fucking up what they report. I mean, we don't even really do that much on our we don't even hardly report on anything on our site but at least if i do if i write a news article i'm not going to be fucking retarded when i write it i'm going to read like the other one they did where they were talking about oh look the connect's gonna cost two hundred dollars and then you click the link and it's the fucking windows version and you know what ended up happening it cost 150 instead of 200 because yeah it's still not it's, any better. It's completely but... fucking brain dead stupid. It cost fifty dollars more for like what a different cable <laughs> or a converter, but that's neither here nor there. Idiocy <laughs> everywhere on this site. No, oh, what are you gonna do? There's it, it, idiots everywhere on the internet. It's true. <laughs> One day we'll find a, a good site. We could do that, but we have lives, so I can't <laughs> sit here and post <laughs> news arc. I only have an hour to sit here and make fun of how other people do it. I don't have time to make my own. 
I have a job. <laughs> and, this, and this was before Destiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I don't even have time to do that. <laughs> I only have time to sit and make fun of other people like once a month. <laughs> I got a rush in my make, making fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fit that all in. I only got so much time in the day. In other Sony news, this is a slightly more minor news story. Uh, PlayStation Vita will be getting custom themes in firmware 3.30, which is out now. Uh, I can't, I can't tell if these are where you can pick your, you know, your background and whatnot on your own, or you have to buy their specific ones. But yes, PlayStation Vita is getting themes. Whoop de doo. They're on fucking version 3.3 for their firmware on that thing. Yeah. The hell have they done to it? I don't even know. I don't own one, and I've never really wanted one, so I don't follow it. The only thing that has ever made me maybe kind of want one was remote play. And that exactly. would be like now because of Destiny. <laughs> it's literally the only thing that makes me want one. Yeah, like I'm still waiting for like a better price drop and maybe for them to stop being fucking retarded with their uh, memory cards. That's adorable. Yeah, I know. So it'll totes, be like a couple years adorbs. from now, maybe. <laughs> you know they're just going to have fucking... They, I'm surprised. That, do they have SD to... What, what the fuck do they call it now? It's not Pro Duo. It's some other new bullshit from Sony, right? Yeah, I think it's some completely... I think it's proprietary for the Vita. Possibly. Which makes even less sense. They make their own fucking types of memory card already. Just you, If you're going to be do that, just use one of your own. Don't make a new one. Stop being Sony. Oh, hey, there's actually an article about the Vita possibly getting a micro-USB adapter. Instead of using the, the, the PS Vita for remote play, the, uh, Sony will be releasing the PlayStation TV oh, in God, North America right. as of October 14th, which is basically a PlayStation Vita you can plug into your TV. Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, it looks interesting. Um, yeah, like, I'm considering... Oh, yeah, it's only supposed to be like 100 bucks too, isn't it? Yeah. And it has, from what I understand, it has a slot for you to play Vita games, to plug Vita games into it. So the only problem is if, 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 if there are games that heavily use like the touch screen and the back touch or whatever, they won't be compatible. But that's probably like 10% of the Vita's library, to be honest. Yeah, let's be honest. If they have that, you probably wouldn't want to play them anyway. <laughs> no. I know Uncharted might have them or something. But yeah, it look, does. You probably don't need them. <laughs> And if you do, I, fuck it. The Uncharted imagine, games on console are better anyway. I imagine they, the people making Uncharted would have realized that not everyone wants to use their touchscreen crap. So Yeah, not everyone wants to deal with that shit. But yeah, that'll be uh, $99. It, there's also a bundle for 139 which will come with a DualShock 3 controller, an HDMI cable, 8 gigabytes of memory, and a copy of Lego the Movie Video Game. Oh boy. Lego <laughs> the Movie Video Game. <laughs> Jesus fucking... Are you even... <laughs> Are you for real with this shit? Yeah. A video game based on a movie, based on a video game, based on toys. It's kind of funny, though. Like, when I think about why I'm interested in the PlayStation TV, it's not to play video games. I'm thinking about getting it so I can play, like, the uh, PS3, uh, not remakes, but, like, the uh, PS1 classics or PS2 classics that they've put on there that I can't play on my PlayStation 4. See, what's disappointing to me is I would like to use a DualShock 4 with one of those. Yeah. And I would love to have one, like, in my room so that I don't have to move my PS4 if I want to play games in my room. I would imagine it's just going to... They could fix that with a simple firmware update. I mean, it uses similar Bluetooth-esque technology, right? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I know that the it, it can work with normal Bluetooth because, like, my computer will use it with no bullshit. Just straight-up Bluetooth. So that gives me hope. But I just don't... I don't get why they didn't launch with that. Why would you launch with your old controller... A year after your new one came out. That's weird, I know. Right? I th- I th- yeah, I think they just got it working with the DualShock 3 and just didn't worry about the new controller. It seems like something you should worry about. Yeah. The details, uh, but, you know? Again, it's something I can probably fix with a small firmware update. I would think. It's just if they've had so much time between when they announced the thing in Japan and now that it's like, you, come on. <laughs> Put some effort into it. Well, I also I imagine it's something they're not really like trying to, like, hard sell. This is kind of a thing they, they could have done, and they just did it for the hell of it, really. Yeah, probably. It is pretty cheap. I like that. So, yeah, yeah, I'd probably use that for remote play and, like, playing, like, PlayStation 1 games. Kind of- yeah, that'd definitely be fun. 
So in news that Webhead and I don't really care about because we don't play MMOs, uh, <laughs> Blizzard has canceled their Titan MMO, which was supposed to be like not a sequel to World of Warcraft, but like their next, basically their quote unquote next gen MMO. Mm-hmm. And from what I've heard, I haven't heard much, but from what I've heard, it's, it was they were kind of doing similar things to what Destiny ended up doing, where like there's like. Normally it's a first person, but there are certain areas like a town or whatever where you can zoom out back up to third person and look at your character and whatnot. So I, I'm wondering how much of that was. They, they say it's it's because they couldn't get it to feel fun or whatever, but I'm wondering how much of that might actually be because of Destiny. Probably not much, but mm, I, don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say because they've been working on it for fucking like I think it was like seven years, and it was I want to say two years ago they completely scrapped it and started over. So. Yeah. And it's not like them canceling games they were done for years is a new thing. They did that with was it like Warcraft Adventures or something like that. Yeah, yeah Warcraft Starcraft Adventures. Ghost. Starcraft yeah. Ghost. I really wanted to play that. I'm still pissed they never released that. <laughs> I got I had, to play I that. Had wallpapers on my desktop, on my laptop, all over the place. I had trailers downloaded. I was like, yeah. And then it never I actually got to play out. it, and it was pretty good. Well, just... you can go to hell. <laughs> I guess another thing too, like Second. they supposedly sank like fifty million dollars into it. God. But then you, you stop and think about it. They they make that on like yeah. a month of WoW, so. Yeah. WoW, lol. <laughs> we got money. Yeah, if any company's ever fucking printed money, it's the company that makes WoW. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, their, their CEO was, was basically saying, we don't want to identify ourselves with a particular genre. We want to make great games every time. I wouldn't say no to ever doing an MMO again, but I can say that right now, that's not where we want to be spending our time. When it comes down to it, is why bother? Yeah, like, like you still have the biggest MMO in the industry. Honestly, yeah. like, they're probably not even going to be able to top themselves. Yeah, no, there's no way. They had like a runaway success. Like that's a once in a lifetime thing. I don't know though. That company's well, got yeah. some fucking hits. Like everything they do, they strike gold. Even if it ends up being kind of shitty later on, they still sell a billion fucking copies. Yeah. Maybe if if it had come out closer to uh, World of Warcraft's first release, maybe they might have had a chance of it being popular. But as of right now, with MMOs basically dead in the water, except for World of Warcraft, there's really no point. Well, the market is just so fucking oversaturated, and there's not yep. very many new ideas. So, and people don't want to fucking pay every month to play a video game. I don't. I just like most people don't want to deal with that, or maybe they do. Maybe I'm fucking full of shit. I I don't. I want to buy it once. Like it's made Destiny. It's, it's sound one awesome. of those things. Like people do do that, but at the same time, like they're not going to do it with multiple games. And so what blows when... my mind about WoW? You bought it, you paid every month, and you still bought expansions. Oh my god, really? <laughs> but yeah, what do I know? <laughs> what were yeah, you like say? The, I was gonna say like uh, you know. The big thing with that is if you do choose to do that, you're not likely to do it with more than one game at a time. So with WoW still holding that many millions of people, it's not even like a wise decision to try another MMO, especially for them when they're the ones who have WoW. Like that, yeah, only- even if it's a completely different genre, completely different game style, because I think it was supposed to be like uh, MT was saying, like an FPS type thing. It's still an MMO, and it's still going to, in some on some level, compete with WoW. Yeah, it's so. going to compete with their own game, and the only thing that's really going to happen is they're going to cannibalize their own sales. Yep. So, yeah. I mean, generally, you see what they do. They only do one of every type of game. They've got a strategy game, they've got a loot pinata, and they've got an MMO. <laughs> there ain't room for two of any of those. <laughs> like, when they, they stopped making Warcraft, and when they did... Starcraft, or you know, they switch back, and at least with those, it's it's just a game you play and then you're done. And there's Some plenty people. of time in between. Did Warcraft three come out after Starcraft? Yeah, that was one of the probably worst received of the Warcrafts. I don't know that. That's I think true. it still sold a lot, but I just it didn't seem to they get did. as much excitement as the other ones. A pretty it had a pretty long life on it, especially with all the modding and everything. I think the modding is what kept it alive. Yeah. I know. Dawn of the Ancient stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, an entire new genre fucking formed out of that. Yeah. That definitely helped it. At first, I guess. Like, I don't know. When I first played it, I was like, eh. I don't like this hero stuff. And <laughs> Why is this all weird? 
And so a lot of people I knew that, you know, liked Warcraft were like, this is weird. (laughs) I don't know. Speaking of, they do have other game types now too, but you're right. They always, they don't overlap at all because they got that MOBA now. And they also have the fucking card game thing that they're doing. So, like, they're they're really careful about that. So, yeah, I'm surprised they even tried to start another MMO. Well, I think they just figured this one we've been doing is, what, 10 years old or something insane? (laughs) Yeah. About time for a new one. Well, considering they've been they've been working on it for about seven years though, so they were doing that when WoW was like before it had even hit its prime. God, that's insane. Somebody got a little greedy in there somewhere, apparently. Yeah. Going back to kind of not sour news, but not the best news in the world. GameStop <laughs> will be selling uh, used or is interested in selling used DLC, which I don't even know how the hell that's going to work. Yeah, I don't. that's all kinds of fucked up. Like They're I think that's like, them talking. Happen. Yeah, I think that's them talking out their ass, like trying to go wait, wait, wait. somebody. You're saying GameStop said something where they were talking out of their ass? That well, I mean that's, that's the news. norm. I've but... never heard of that. <laughs> that's unheard of. Like I swear to God, like I don't know if it's their CEO or who it is that's saying shit like this. Like everything, he needs every to time stop he, talking. Yeah, he's just like it's like he's Forever. thinking out loud. Like, wow, wouldn't it be great <laughs> if we could sell used DLC? Wouldn't it be great if he would just give us money and then we didn't give you shit for it? <laughs> that's I mean that's their end goal. Well, you give I mean, us games for free and then we sell them back to you and yeah, they're, they're, the they're disc. considering how much they give you for the games. They're halfway there. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much are giving them to them for free. Uh, yeah, we'll give you two dollars and eight cents for that game that just came out three months ago. I think. Hmm, the, uh, how about you go fuck yourself? I think the best I've ever heard is I was at a GameStop uh, and somebody was selling a bunch of games, and of course, a bunch of them were sports games, <laughs> like from like the year before or whatever. Like fifteen cents. That's what he was going <laughs> to give for them. Oh and you know they'll sell that for like at least ten dollars. That's obnoxious. Yeah, I almost, I almost kind of wonder if the guy that said this is is. Uh, equating DLC with expansion packs because it's digital content. Like you can't. How do you? Yeah. Well, how do you trade that into GameStop? That would, that would require an entirely new system for all well, that stuff. It would require the fucking owners of PSN and Xbox Live to allow it, which yeah. they're obviously not going to do. Well, and then even beyond that, like developers would have to sign onto it too, because then you know that's not going to happen. Like. like it's, Never going. This is like the most retarded thing you could say. That's that's why they do the DLC in the first place. At this point, is so they can like avoid the shit going to use sales. Yeah, that's exactly what it's for. Like we are literally selling the DLC to undercut you, to get you out of the picture. (laughs) Why in the blue hell would they allow you back in? You can't be in the picture right now. There's no way for you to do it. I find it ridiculous enough that they they sell DLC in the store at all. Like it's they have those right. fucking cards and everything. It's yeah, like here's why, a code why would you do that? Herder. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if you got a gift card and that's all that you wanted, they're for fucking grandparents that buy their kids GameStop gift cards. <laughs> oh, Timmy likes video games. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get digital stuff as a gift anyway, right? As a gift card. <laughs> God knows that process I can, is impossible I can guarantee outside. you, too, like, probably half the people that buy that stuff are people that don't, like, have their system hooked up to the internet and can't actually redeem them. <laughs> because, like, they're like, oh, I can get this here. That means I don't have to, you know, mess with that internet thing. Yeah, those inner butts that I'm not good with. I don't know how to use those tubes. I, I hear it's <laughs> full of tubes. <laughs> actually a series of them. It's not a big yeah. truck, as you may have heard. No. But yeah, 10-year-old internet jokes aside, <laughs> it's a very dumb thing said by a clearly dumb person. I just don't know why he would even say that. There's obviously no way that that could even happen. And one of the articles I was like, yeah, maybe they... No, there's no maybe they... No. <laughs> the reason DLC exists is because of GameStop. Like, that's half of the reason the shit is there. You can't resell it. That's why it is what it is. <laughs> Our last bit of news isn't really big news in any way, shape, or form, but it, for me it's kind of interesting because I love this game. I think more people need to play it if they haven't already. The Walking Dead, which is a Telltale game and not the Activision game that was fucking terrible and no one should have bought, um, is coming to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 later this month. And it will be both Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, they don't say whether or not it will be 
bundle between the two of them, or if they'll be separate, I would imagine separate, because they probably make more money that way. But Yeah, that's what it seems like. Who knows? And at the same time, I recall seeing this too, Sleeping Dogs is also coming out on next. Yeah, day, um... I, pl- I played a little bit of that game, and it, it seemed interesting, but I don't know. Like, it's worth checking out if you've you got a couple extra bucks to spare. But um, I would just say get the PC version, if anything. Yeah, because it's probably like $5. <laughs> oh, yeah. they, they gave away the original, like the regular version of Sleeping Dogs on for free on PS Plus at some point, too. I have it on my PlayStation. I haven't tried it yet, though. <laughs> they have Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition already here on Steam. And, okay, get this. It costs less than Sleeping Dogs. <laughs> that doesn't even make any that, fucking sense. That sounds like Steam. Oh, it's 50% off right now. So for $15 until October 8th, you can get this game for $15. So you have another week, basically. I'm guessing as, the Definitive as Edition on PC basically just means all of the DLC. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's from what I understand. That's what they're bringing to next gen con- or current gen consoles so yeah add that to the list of multiple fucking hd quote unquote hd releases that double dipping wait a minute make money why wouldn't they nah, i mean why not if it doesn't cost them much whatever i'm not bothered by it i am sad to see that the borderlands sequel is not going to be next gen but i'm not going to play it anyway so <laughs> <laughs> So you're not that sad, basically. I'm not. I, I've played so much Borderlands 2. If I even look at it again, I'm probably going to throw up. <laughs> not really their fault. <laughs> That's pretty much all the news we had this week. Uh, we can talk Destiny if you guys want to. I know we played a shit ton of it lately. <laughs> no, why would we want to talk about that? What's de- de- Destiny? What, what's that? I've never that never heard of this. video game that came out recently? That's on the, the, the Nintendo, right? The the one with the guns and the dudes, they go pew pew pew. Well, your gun does. Last I heard, <laughs> it does. It goes ping 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 ping. ping. And here I come back by with my hand cannon, just boom, boom. Yeah, that's okay. My gun's better. I don't know. I mean, I, my hand cannon isn't exotic. Oh well, I like my gun. <laughs> I like my gun too. Fun oh, just. Your gun sucks. No, your gun sucks. Fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> Good guy. Um. So, so well, yeah, we've been playing pretty much nothing but Destiny the last three weeks. Now, I took the day it launched off and the day after, and uh, basically it, uh, you know, I got my special edition because I'm a fucking sap and I always fall for these things. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel cheated. <laughs> I like buying special editions for things. So, you know, I went to Best Buy at midnight. They're handing out, like, armbands and fucking... I got a t-shirt. That was pretty Ooh. cool. Yeah, woo And, you know, I don't know, maybe some other shit. I don't remember what else they want. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, who gives a fuck? You know, I got the game and... But a t-shirt! To my great surprise, I gotta give Sony, or whoever, kudos. PSN did not go down completely. Yeah. It was running like ass... But the game was actually playable, especially um, like right at midnight. Like you, like I would have yeah. thought, like that would they would have gone to shit right away. I mean, we can only assume because people could play in their territories as the game launched that that probably helped. Well, but you I don't know. Thought though, the because Pacific time was the cutoff for the digital edition, so I thought for sure it would just get fucked. It didn't. That's pretty it, impressive. I did not see that coming, like at all. <laughs> I thought for sure. I I even told my boss when I asked for the day off. I'm like, I may come in, depending on what happens. <laughs> if the game's not good, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. If it is, well, I won't see you for a month. I said my game may not work, and I might go to work instead. Cause fuck it. Cause that's what I did with Diablo. I, I was like, I'm not even gonna attempt to fucking stay home for this. I know what's gonna happen, you know. And what I knew was gonna happen happened. It absolutely did not work for the entire first day. <laughs> When I got home from work and opened it up, and it was still kind of fucked up even when I got home, so nobody had even leveled very much. <laughs> and I was like, "Yep, good call, me." <laughs> I, I think, like, yeah, I think the three of us hit the level cap within like seventy-two hours. It was pretty quick. I mean, yeah. I took days off, man. It was, yeah, and it fun. You know, I gotta say though, 
I, you know, I've been, of course, watching reviews, and I thought Angry Joe had a really good one. I love that guy. Um, and the game, it, it's it's so hard to, and it, every fucking review is like, this game is kind of shitty, but I can't stop fucking playing it. <laughs> like every review, either it's good and I can't stop, or it's actually kind of shitty, but I can't stop. Like there's just something about it. The gameplay is so fun, but yeah, but the story is is unexcusable, inexcusably bad. Like it's awful. It barely exists. Well, I wouldn't, to, to I wouldn't clarify, the story the itself bad. is not really bad. It's the just... way they present it in the game is terrible. Well, like yeah. I said, it barely exists. And I know people go, oh, well, there's Grimoire cards. Those don't count. They're not in the fucking game. If I can't play the product I bought and get the story from it, you've failed as a storyteller. I shouldn't have to sit on my computer. And quite frankly, I might be more receptive to that if the interface wasn't so fucking annoying for reading the cards in the first place. They they fixed it, uh, like, I think it was yesterday or the day before they updated the Grimoire section. It, right. it, it flows a lot better Because you now. know what I want? I want a fucking bulleted list. I don't want this fucking, ooh, click this card to go to this category and then into this category and then, no, fuck that. <laughs> it's terrible. It's still, it's still kind of like that. It, it, they've improved it a bit. It's not as bad as it was. <laughs> It's just like, eh. so, you know, there's that whole fucking thing going on. And from what you've said, the story is cool, but I'll never know because I don't want to <laughs> suffer through this awful interface. It's shit. Like, it, it is. And it's, it's still the same thing, like what you were saying. It's still, I have to fucking click 87 things to look at anything. And it is better. I'm looking at it now. This is better. Definitely. But really, just like a thing on the side of the screen where I could just click the click, 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 click would have been much better. Because this inter- it's this, they were more yeah, worried that's... about making it look pretty than actually functional. The thing I don't get, they did remove one of the better functions of the original version. Because like before, when you got a new card, there was a list on the right-hand side that showed all the new cards you had. And mm. until you looked at them, it would leave them in the list. But then you could just click on the card and it would take you directly to it. <laughs> but that doesn't seem to have that anymore. Okay. So what I would love for someone to do is take all of this information and put it in one giant thing that I, I would just actually, sit and read. Just I've honestly been thinking about doing that because like, I find the story, like after reading those, compelling enough that I feel the need to like try. I mean, shit, that's something we could fucking put on our website. Be the first article in months, and it would be, here's <laughs> the Destiny story. <laughs> <Blah>. <laughs> I just got to figure out a good way to organize it because a lot of it too is in the like same way they organized it, characters. but as one large document, you know, just like yeah, you could split it into headings, but I don't want you don't have to click forty seven fucking things. You <laughs> just read. Well, because in some cases, I would like to interject, you know, information into the actual story stuff from the game. Be like, yeah. okay, this is why this is this way. Or you could put that in red text. <laughs> Fuck knows, whatever. You know, like what they've done. Even what they've done, even this great story that's apparently just stuffed into this horrible interface, they took the time to write all of it and then put it in shit. Why even do that? Like, at, the ver- at the very least, they could have done what Mass Effect did and have, like a, for lack of a better word, codex. Yeah. That was, I mean, I read some of that shit. That's yeah, so all right. So, I don't know. It would have worked. But this is what we got. And, I mean... God damn, Peter Dinklage, he just phoned it in. He just, I I don't know if it's his fault or the director's fault. I'm going to say a little column A, a little column B, maybe. Like, he clearly just does not give a fuck. But maybe they said, read it like you do not give a fuck. (laughs) Because you're a robot, LOL. (laughs) Get it? I really don't get what was going on with him, because, like, everything I've ever seen him in, like, even, I think he was the villain in, like, the fucking underdog movie, and he still (laughs) acted his ass off. Yeah, I remember, that's where I've seen him, holy shit. I'm ashamed to admit that. Why the fuck, well, I I understand why Kyle has, but why, okay, okay. You have a sister, that's okay. (laughs) I'll allow that. (laughs) And she wanted to go, and I was like, are you sure? (laughs) But yeah, like I'm, I was, um, 
kind of wondering what happened there myself. It's got to be bad directing. I mean, like, I know from every other act. bit of evidence we have, it seems to be bad directing. <laughs> As we can see from the rest of our illustrious story here, obviously someone was asleep at the wheel. Probably Peter Dinklage. Hey, read your line. Huh? Oh, um... Wizard came from the moon. That wizard's from the moon. Whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> we have to go here. Because reasons. And I, I, I remember back when the Alpha was running and people were complaining about his acting. They they actually got out they, in front of that and said, oh, we fixed it. We went back and re-recorded yeah, some things. And they no. Did. They no. added like an effect to his voice and yeah, they but recorded one line. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make his acting any better. <laughs> it did. The effect, the robot effect on his voice, did make it seem better. I don't know. I don't better. I don't better, not good. <laughs> better than shit. So that's yes. not saying a whole lot. However much that means. So big disappointment for me because you know, no one would say that the story in Halo is like earth-shatteringly amazing. No. But you know, it was fun. I followed along. I wanted to play the games to finish the story. It was. It was good. Not great, good, passable, whatever. I liked it. I'm it's trying to shit. I'm trying to it's think back. Shit. I'm trying to think back to Halo One and what they didn't 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 tell you in that game compared to because I know like over the course of the trilogy they did a really good job of telling the story, but I'm trying to remember in the first game like how well they did to yeah, con- convey I mean, all the information. There's just there was just more cutscenes, more of everything, just more. Yeah, I think that, at least for the cutscenes, that has to do with it being a an online game compared to Some Halo. Maybe that there's so much more going on. They've essentially dropped us into the Halo Four universe with the storytelling of Halo One, right? So much. you've got all this new shit happening, and no one's explaining any of it. Exactly. Because Halo evolved, they explained sort of as new things came in. In this game, there's just all this shit exists already. They tell you nothing. There's god-awful lines like, I don't have time to tell you why I don't have time to tell you. Whoever wrote that should be punched in the face repeatedly <laughs> because that's awful. Why? Who the... Mm, that makes my brain hurt. Well, I remember that's like a perfect example of what's wrong with the story. They don't tell you anything. They don't like, show you anything. I remember one of the missions we did. It was like, you have to find the Kel from the House of Winter, and he's on this. Like, what? Like, what what's, what's a Kel? The house what's the House of Winter? Of Winter? What is a Kel? Yeah. yeah. Like, what do I? What do I? These make no. These terms make no what sense I, to me. Why do I have to read about how fucking earth-shatteringly, literally awesome the Cabal are from a fucking card on the internet? Like, you couldn't mention while we're shooting them that they could throw planets? Are you fucking kidding me? You leave that out of the game? <sighs> Same. And then I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, just the story is just so bad. It's either bad or non-existent. It's both at the same time. It, they just they could have done so much better on that. I expected a lot more. But like you're like you were saying, it, it's like the story is not all that great. But I just can't stop playing this game. Like it is no. just fun. I guess to, it's almost like a quick rundown review. There's the story is terrible. Gameplay is excellent. The guns feel great. Uh, movements fun. The jumping mechanic that each class has is fun. The I think part of what makes people not like it is they build it as an MM. They they build it as an MMO game, and what it is really. It's a shooter with some RPG shit thrown in. So we're expecting all these things that MMOs generally have, more content being one of those things. And it's not really there. Because you beat the game and you've played everything that there is. Yep. After you beat the game, you're literally just playing the same shit over and over again with modifiers on it. Well, to to be fair, the raid wasn't in the main. But other than that, yes. That, that one thing is the only different thing you can do after you beat the game. Everything else is just modifying and making things you've already done harder. Which isn't bad. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's not... It's not the greatest great. thing in the world, but it's still something to keep you playing. Just kind of recycling. And, you know, people have complained about the mission structure. And it, to an extent, yeah, it's kind of boring. But 
I don't see that other games are that earth shattering in, in their presentation of missions. Like, yeah, it, every fucking mission in this game is either go to a spot and protect Dinkbot, or no, that's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> in different ways, hold this fort or get into that one and kill that guy. So either stand here or go get over there. That's the game. But come on, how different is that from other shooting games, really? Can you yeah, think it of a shooting game where that was not the, the intent for every mission? You can boil pretty much 99% of the games down to something so stupid. And like We've been doing playing a, basically the same, like we've been playing the same Mario game technically for, what, 25 years? But in their defense, other games dress it up a bit better. This one's just so blatantly fucking unoriginal in, in, in that presentation that it gets old. Even even me, I'm the guy, I'm not even that fucking picky. Even I was starting to make fun of this near the end of the game. Like, oh, are we going to go on another fucking mission where we protect you? Oh, deploy ghost. Oh, deploy ghost. Time to protect you. Like, it's... <laughs> it's to be fair. Comical. The raid was, like, completely different from all the other gameplay. Right. Why couldn't they do more of that? Why couldn't the strikes be more, like, easy raids? That would have helped. Strikes were just, here's a clusterfuck to jump into. Have fun. Here's a bunch (laughs) of guys, and then at the end of it, a boss. Have fun. But, I mean, at least the strikes were different somewhat from the missions. It's just, I don't know. Not varied. Um, So, story, terrible. Mission structure, eh. Uh, gameplay again, great. I, and I, another thing, I love all the powers you get, all this RPG shit. They're fun to play with. Yep. It's not, for a person like me, I, I see a game like Final Fantasy and my fucking head explodes. That's just way too much shit. So I kind of like where some people would look at other MMOs and stuff and go, ugh, it's so much simpler. I kind of like that. I like that the game is a shooter first with other elements added in, personally. Because that's the kind of game I like. And that's what makes part of that's partly what makes it so addictive. It's it's easy to get a grasp on it. Although the game does an absolutely awful job of explaining anything. But it's still easy to get a pretty firm grasp on how things work. Um so that's nice and I like that. But on that point too, it does a shit job of explaining things. You don't know how anything works at first. You have to figure everything out. Some of the shit you got to go to the internet, and unless you're Kyle, who is like who eats, sleeps, and breathes MMO, it's just going to be shit you don't understand without looking up. <laughs> and then further, one of the things that really irritates me personally, after coming from Diablo, that nothing in the interface will give you any hard numbers anywhere. Nothing has a number on it. Like, if I'm going to run faster with it, how much faster am I going to run? Twenty <laughs> percent faster. 30% faster? If it says my gun gives extra damage, how much extra damage? 10? 20? What do those numbers we even mean? Like, how does it work? So, those are definitely some big complaints I have personally. I, I hate the way the interface is. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of noticed also, like, when you're looking at the the items, or the, the weapons and whatnot, like, they have, you know, range, impact, and what I forget what the other things, but they don't really say, like, what impact means, like, how it affects how the gun fires, or how much more damage it does. They don't tell you anything about it. The things are bar graphs where you have to fucking guess how much it is. It's nice that they give you an easy way to compare them, so at least you get that little green bar, but, like, I would love to just have a number, and yes, again, the app, (sighs) the app has numbers, why doesn't the fucking game have numbers? Well, like, for my hand cannon, like, it does, I forget the exact number of damage, but it does, like, for example, 290, but then it's got, like, three-fourths of the, the impact bar is full. But, like, if I look at an auto rifle with the same d- damage numbers on it, and it's got less impact, does that mean it hurts the enemies less than the hand cannon? Like, I don't, uh, I don't basically get Basically, what I've come to find out with it is, like, oftentimes, especially with something like an auto rifle, the more rate of fire it has, the lower the impact yeah. will be. There's like an it's, inverse relationship it, it, between yeah. rate of fire and impact. Like you're impact. shooting fast with no impact, or you're shooting slow with lots of impact. Uh, impact is basically very specifically how much each individual round will do damage wise. Yeah. Okay. So, like with a higher rate of fire, that means you're spraying more bullets, and you'll get about the same amount of damage in the same amount of time as you would with like a slow firing, high impact weapon. 
So I was I, I was missing I was missing around in my my uh, second character, and I, like I had the choice between a hand cannon and a scout rifle or an assault rifle or auto rifle. Sorry, I'm getting the names fucked up. But like <laughs> they had the same damage numbers, but the impact was obviously different. So I didn't know like, well, if the auto rifle shoots more bullets, does that mean it does technically more damage in the, the same amount of time as a hand cannon would with one bullet? Like I don't. I think I don't it know. levels out. But then, like, they say stuff like the attack rating doesn't actually mean, like, DPS. It means you do more damage against higher-level enemies or something. I mean, I think, what the I fuck think that does that might even be, mean? I think that might be guessing to some degree. Like, what, yeah. I, what I think is possible with that attack number is I think it maybe it's more or less calculating an all-around, like, for all the stats on it. What you I think can, it is. Just a general, like, that way that you have a number that you yeah. can kind of use to gauge it. Yeah, it's like kind it's of not, like a DPS number, I yeah. think. Actually. There, I mean, I think there's more going into it than that. Like, yeah. But, you know, without actually having a real answer from Bungie about what it means, like, it's mostly just guesswork. And that's what I don't like. I don't like how much guesswork there is in just yeah. everything in the game. Like, you say what you will about Diablo 3 being kind of a broken piece of shit at times, but the information's there. It's everywhere. I mean, it's like... Eve levels of fucking spreadsheet madness. No, this well, shit is everywhere. The more players something has, the more tryhards you have that will actually sit down and figure that out. So, like, I mean, I, I can see this game eventually having that when people get it worked out because there's already people that like, you know. And so we've uh, somebody found out that you're basically your level, no matter what how high your level is, you're kind of normalized down to whatever the level your of things you're fighting is. Yeah. But kind of, not kind of, yeah, completely. Because like there's... you still whack the fuck out of you know stuff on Earth pretty easily. If they're like level five, four, you melee punch everything; it dies in like one hit. But you know, yeah. it's not like, complete overkill. Maybe you got a little extra armor in there, but not too yeah. much. Which I yeah, don't there's... even understand that that whole thing. They just do a just poor job of explaining how it works. Yeah. I don't get it. Like this is one of, like I know they don't like to do it anymore with the games, but this is one of those games that really could have used the user manual. Yeah, or it could have just been explained as you played. Yeah, well, maybe I mean, the they, first after you level a few times, it explains how leveling works. Yeah, the problem with that though is they couldn't even do that with the story. So. Yeah, well, and that's like, really what a lot of it comes back to is they couldn't be fucked to I finish guess, the game. As much as I actually do did like the story and I got a decent amount out of even like the stuff without the grimoire cards. Like there's a lot of like opening like gaps in there. Like, you know, when you first wake, I mean, you first start the game and he's all like, Oh, you must have a lot of questions. We'll get to that. You, you don't get to that. Yeah. Just kidding. Fuck you. And then I don't have time like, to tell you. There's another part <laughs> on Venus when you're talking to that uh, exo stranger chick. And like she asks if you've heard of the black garden and he's all like, Oh, we've heard the, the legends. No, you haven't. <laughs> We haven't heard shit. Fuck. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's like, just terrible writing. That, what? That's an op- That's literally you writing an opening for yourself to explain something and then not taking it. Yeah. <laughs> Why you even write that line? I like even even with the cards added in, like a lot of the really heavy information from the cards comes from finding the dead ghosts, and that's not something you're guaranteed to do. They're hidden really well in some yeah. cases. And, like, you know, some of the biggest, like, chunks of information are on those ones specifically. So, and I'm yeah, just there's gonna, some... I'm going to go back to what I said before. Fucking Bioshock audio log style. Just yeah. do that. Yeah. Would have been fine. I'd as play, as, yeah, as played out as that mechanic is, it would have gone but a long way in a, helping this game. There's Sorry. a reason it's used so much. It's It's helpful. It's a way... To convey information to the player in a less boring way than reading it. No, specifically a cheap way, because then you don't have to make some fancy cutscene, you just have right. somebody talking, which is what most of the game is already, so why didn't they do it? Yeah, I can listen to Peter Dinklage fucking phone it in, but you couldn't make a fucking audio log for some of these things? Have him boringly read it to me, I don't care. No, cause like make an area like... of the game that's literally the ghost archives, where you can listen to him fucking talk about stuff. Boom, no. done. Print it. Like, because, yeah, they missed some great opportunities, especially when introduce like when you first run into like new the new enemy races, like the the Vex and the Cabal specifically, are fucking terrifying. Like if you have any actual information about them, except in game they're just like derp, shoot that there. Yeah, 
Shoot him in the chest. Shoot him in the face. You were fighting aliens. Now you're fighting robots. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have to say, like the with what they had in the game, they did it okay job conveying how crazy the fucking Vex are. Right. But how not as good as it could have been. Across the universe, apparently. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> well, and they apparently can, like, lock things out of time. Insane. So, oh, yeah, there's... Please tell us more in the game. Like, we want to be invested in your universe, but you don't seem to be invested in it. Off-putting. It just, it sours everything in the game. Their like lack of, of... It's kind of a lack of polish. It's weird. Like, the game is so polished in some ways and not in others. Yeah. The interface is just... It hides everything, and it's like they're hiding everything, including the story. <laughs> like, that's, like, my biggest hope for the game is... Because, you know, going back to it being kind of like an MMO in ways... Is like with the a lot of the MMOs I played, like they really do work pretty hard at fixing you know any problems like that they have. Like you know they eventually find ways to convey information better and uh, through Story you know things that they add to the game. <laughs> yeah, like they can I'm patch that kind of stuff in potentially. So the thought of patching a story into a game is so <laughs> laughably fucking sad. But that's literally what this game... It needs a patch to insert a story. Lol just did it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> if they can fucking throw out the entire story and put a new one in, fuck it. Like, they have... Um, like it's, they what's seem in the receptive, game, at least, too, to fix it. Yeah. They have they respond pretty quickly, it seems like. Like, they way fucking kick Blizzard's ass on... <laughs> so far, on fixing shit that's broken. So kudos on that. The Crypt Dark doesn't make me want to go on a psychotic killing rampage anymore. He's still yeah. a fucker, though. Yeah, you know, which, th- that was another thing that, that they kind of fucked up on, was their their RNG, basically, <laughs> of, like, here's a blue Ingram, but it might not be a blue, it might actually be green, or it might actually be yeah, purple, oh, but went, it's probably a green. They went a little too hard on the MMO th- thing there. Like, that is way, way too much randomness. I don't need the yeah. randomness of, A, will it drop, and then, B, if it's going to have shit or not. Yeah, because, like, fuck, how many you want, rolls do we need? You want people to, to like, see a purple drop and get them excited for it, but when you pick up a purple drop and there's, like, an 80% chance it's going to be a blue, which is crabbier than a purple for those or that don't know. Like, like you're, you're, you take it to the Crypt Dark and you're pissed off. Already, before you've even opened it, because you're already like, this is going to be poop. And then yeah. it is, and you're still mad, even though you were prepared for it to suck. So, yes, that was that, that was dumbed even. They're like, at one point, it wasn't that way. I'm like, well, then why did you change it? We thought it wasn't random enough. <laughs> it wasn't fun. Motherfucker, it is fun. It's like, I just, I wish I don't. It's like none of them have played other video games. Go install Diablo 3 and take some notes. The game's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but the funny thing about it is all of the problems that Destiny have has, like, so many of those problems are things that Diablo has solved already. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Some of my most irritating problems with this game have already been resolved in another game. Like, pay attention to the rest of the industry. Like, don't ignore them. Like, Diablo 3 has a loot system. You have a loot system. Figure it out. (laughs) It's silly. Really? Yeah, but at the same time, at least it only took them three weeks to <clears throat> start making changes yeah. in that regard. Definitely. I just, but, you're, but you are right. It's something they should have realized before they even was a problem. It's like no one's paying attention to what anyone else is doing. Like, you guys aren't reinventing the wheel. Don't even pretend. <laughs> so, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> that all being said, it's still like a 7 or 8 on the fun scale for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like when reviews first started coming out, I, I like you were saying earlier, I kind of agreed with a lot of what they're saying about the problems the game had. But to me, like I'm, when they got yeah, the number, yeah. But to me, like if I'm having fun playing the game, that should be like the most important part of it to me. Well, then that's yeah. I I couldn't. What are they reviewing it for then? I don't if know. I mean, I, I guess they're trying trying to get the overall picture like, and, instead of concentrating on what I feel is important, which, you know, to a degree I understand. But It's almost like maybe games should be rated on two scales. Presentation yeah. and gameplay should be two ratings. Like, every or, article should be or, or they could have, like, an overall score and then, like, is it fun, yes or not, yes or no, because that's too binary of a choice, but... 
Does it suck? Something, yeah, exactly. <laughs> something, something along those lines, because it, it is a fun game. Like with all of its, its problems, just... and we all acknowledge it has problems, but with all of those problems, it is still amazingly fun to play. It's just, it seems absurd for someone to write an article literally saying, I cannot stop playing this, and then give it a six. That's retarded. <laughs> like, you can't use those words and those numbers together. I can't stop playing isn't a six. It's not. The game not has the... problems, but if it's so fun you can't put it down, that isn't a six. What yeah. does a six even mean if that's a six? Not to really delve even deeper into this, but it's really more of like they're trying to appeal to like a broad audience and not make it more of a personal opinion, <laughs> which I don't know. It's kind of a I mean, in the a, end, a weird wanna... thing about reviews, but in the end, you're reading a review to see if the game is fun or not, right? So <laughs> you're it's it's weird. I get it though. I get it as a reviewer. It's really hard to put a number here. Because on one hand, the game has so many flaws. But on and the other you know, hand, it's so fun. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of people I've seen review have the same exact problems. And when I was reading them, I'm like, yeah, those are problems. You're right. I completely agree. But still, like, it's I, don't know, I, I just like I said, I just go back to it still being fun. So yeah, maybe part of it is just because so many people are playing. We have so many friends to do stuff with. Yeah, that yeah. that definitely helps. But even like when I'm playing it by myself, I'm still enjoying it. But it, that's because I I've, I'm still at the point where I'm working towards a goal. Like my goal right now basically is to hit thirty, level thirty. Yeah, I mean, for me, shooting shooting and, games are my genre. That's my yeah. shit. And to well, do the raid, of course. And we got to do the raid. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's if you want to hit thirty, you have to do the raid. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I think maybe I'm a slight bit more forgiving just because I love shooting games. And Halo was like my. That was the first real 3D shooter that I got into. Like that's kind of my thing with it. Like as I I don't like shooting games. I've never played a Halo game. I didn't know shit about Bungie's games. Like I know they made Oni. I never played that either, <laughs> but I know they made it. But like, you know, that's I didn't give two shits about Destiny when they announced it or anything and then I, you know, managed to get into the alpha and I was like, this is interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty surprised when you actually wanted to play it. I was like, you do? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and what have you done with Kyle? <laughs> like, it started as, off as one of those things, like, with what we did with, like, Titanfall and Evolve, where it's like, you guys were excited and wanted to play it. I was like, I like to play games with other people, so I'll try, too. <laughs> I probably won't like it, I, I, oh, okay. And now I play more than, like, all of you <laughs> fucking put together. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is cool. So, I don't know, we'll see. So, yeah, it's I mean, definitely getting a bit long in the tooth already. Like, we're we're running up against the wall of, like, we're going to run out of shit to do soon. And it'll be more a matter of, like, any time we're on. Like, we we need to try to find, like, a few extra people so we can, like, really, like, dig into the raid. Yeah, because that's all there is left to do at this point. But uh, I believe the, the first DLC thing is supposed to be out in December, I think they said. Yep. Well, I mean, we've been playing it pretty much nonstop for three weeks, and we're still enjoying ourselves. So, I I definitely got my money's worth out of that game yeah. so far. I think part of it is, is I love true. I love games that have loot and grinding. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know why. <laughs> it's that carried on a stick mentality. It's always yeah. like it's, there's always the the possibility of something better. Yep, it's been all that about, way since Diablo two. It's all about filling them bars. Yep. Yeah, getting those numbers up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm somewhere at a seven or eight. Hard to say. I think six is far too harsh. I think that it's horse shit with some of the... And people try to go, oh, well, on a real scale of, you know, where people rate a five as average. I'm like, no one rates a five as average. Five is a miserable failure. So to say that it's a six is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Giving it a ten would be fucking insultingly retarded, but a six? Come on. Now you're just being vindictive. So we'll see. Well, like I, I don't know. Like you know, having no experience with Bungie, I don't know how they handle their games like post release. But like I have, there is a solid foundation here that they can really build on. Yeah, I mean that's. I think that's part of why the reviews are low. It's a foundation more than it is a game. Yeah, that's that pretty oh. much covers it. It's just foundation. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, for for parts of it, anyways. Some parts are really, you know, well set up, but it's like they 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 built needs the wall more time and in the missed oven. some bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ain't done baking. 
a little more time in the oven and uh, it'll be good to go. So maybe when they start releasing DLC, and I swear to God, if all they put in this DLC is a few strikes and some missions, not going to be happy. I want to see something for, what, 15 bucks a pop? It better be pretty fucking significant. I want to see, like, a new weapon type or something. Something. Raise the level cap. I wouldn't hold my breath for a new weapon type, but, like, I could see them, you know, maybe not, like, right away, but one of them at some point is likely to have Mercury. Because, I mean, they have a, they have a map for Mercury in the PvP as it is. Yeah, I want to see that. That would be... Oh, God, I'd be so happy if they added a fucking planet for DLC. Holy shit. That'd be worth it, definitely. I'd love to see Mercury and, like, something else, like fucking Jupiter or Saturn. We talked about the rings of Saturn. So, you like, a, a moon of Saturn or something. Yeah, I want to say, like, Titan was mentioned at some point with stuff. Well, I, I know they're they're adding areas to the Rift or the, whatever that place was called. Yeah, there was going to be a strike on the Rift. I mean, the That's reef. interesting. The, yeah, the reef. The asteroid Whatever. belt, technically speaking. I think the place is what it's where the blue dudes are. But the yeah, most interesting like, part of the story. Where the queen is, whatever the hell the queen is. Where there actually was story. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, most that's, existing that's, part of the story. Like, going back through the story a second time when I made my other character, that's what I really noticed is, like, Earth and the moon are really kind of disjointed feeling, and once you hit Venus, that's where it kind of, you know, becomes a story. It's still a little loose, but it's better. Or you get into those cutscenes with like the fucking queen and everything, and it's it actually gets interesting. Yep. And she is easily the best character in the game. Like just listening to her talk to you. Oh, but God, the queen's bounty. Okay, see, okay, the queen's bounty event. Here's why it was good. It was good because that means the last thing she said to us wasn't them peddling fucking DLC. So plus one there. <laughs> People got super fucking pissed when they got to the part where she's like, you'll owe me a favor later. And everyone was like, no, fuck you. Stop trying to sell me DLC. Uh, so that's good. Uh, what's bad is that it's fucking pointless. Well, I, I think the the thing with it is it wasn't meant for people like us. Like it was, it was very obviously set up for people that, you know, maybe hadn't played a lot or were just getting into it. It was a I'm good way for them loose. to get gear. Yeah. Pretty but at much, the same but... time, it's fucking nothing new. It's bounties. Come on. Uh, the 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 specifically the the Queen's Wrath missions were kind of fun. Like with having the modifier yes. and the higher level versions. It that was, was just like playing the weekly strike at level twenty four, <laughs> which was fun. Hey. Like I enjoyed it. You go in like especially if you have the right set of weapons for it. Fucking, you just go nuts. Of course, it's bugged all the fuck. Every time you do it, the first mission you play, you play it literally over and over every time. And that's what happens to us every time we play. We we got an awesome roll of the first fucking Earth mission. So that was cool because it was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, that's dumb. Why do yeah, I keep they're... getting the same mission over and over again? That is so boring. Yeah, whatever they got generating the stuff needs to work. And the bounties are all fucking bugged out. So even they even they actually said that they were bugged out, and they still haven't fixed them. They're like, yeah, they're fucking broken. Make sure you're standing next to each other when you kill the shit. Like really? Or how about those bounties for play uh, salvage when you can't play salvage? Like someone just really look. I, it looks like you don't even care when you let this kind of shit slip by. Like, no one's even paying attention. <laughs> like, what else are you even doing? I guess they're still plugging away at the DLC. <laughs> oh, well. It was a nice concept. I just, it sounded cooler than it actually ended up being, you know? You're like, ooh, an event. Ah. And you sign on and go to the reef going, oh, maybe there's a fucking movie here. And there's nothing. And then you realize it's fucking bounties and kick your controller <laughs> <laughs> well for me like when the the queen's bounty stuff first came up i, th I thought it'd be kind of cool because you know you, you can do they're not that hard to do but you get uh your guaranteed legendaries which you could then break down into upgrade material which where we are right now Oops. like every little tiny thing of upgrade material you can get is like gold basically but like they like a couple days later they patched that out like nope sorry you can't break them down for to material anymore. Who you get? 
And that was, at least for me, that was my main reason to do those missions. So now that that's gone, I have no, I just don't care. I'm pretty much just playing for the chance to get a legendary sniper rifle. That's it. Yeah, but same here. Like, I I'm never kind, get one, apparently. I'm kind of work, trying to work towards maybe buying one of the legendary snipers from the Crucible people, but that's going to require a lot of grinding, which I don't know if I want to do. Change my name to Kyle and <laughs> playing 24 hours a day. I'll stop here pretty soon. <laughs> I have to go back to real life. What we should have done oh. is played the PlayStation 3 version, because apparently it drops are plentiful there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing with that is, too, like I saw a lot of people that actually chose to benefit from it. Um, if you bought the PlayStation 3 version, you got the PlayStation 4 version for free. Yeah. Right. If you, bought, if you bought it digitally. Yeah. Which, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was cool that they did that, too. Yeah, that was a really cool move. Kudos on that. That was really cool. Like, And even if you'd like, for people that did it, if they even even if they don't have a PlayStation 4 yet, it, if, as long as they get one by, like, like it's sometime next year, like, they can still get it. <laughs> Go to a friend's house and just sign in with your account. <laughs> <laughs> well, what also was kind of nice is if you didn't have a PlayStation 4, like, at all, you could play your character on the play the PS3, and then when you eventually got a PS4 down the line, and maybe bought Destiny for it, your character would be there waiting for you. Yeah, right. Which yeah. is really cool. You know what I wonder too, and I haven't had a chance to test this, but can you just swap back and forth between PS3 and PS4, and your characters the same? I, I would think. Pretty so, sure. Since everything's it's like attached runs to your Bungie through Bungie. Bungie. Account. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious. It's all, it's have... all on their servers, so I, yeah, I would imagine yeah. it would work. I had my brother over here playing you know, on mine, and he has a PS3 still, and I was like, I wonder if his character will still be there, you know? And it'd be cool if, like, we hang out, he comes here, and he can play his character some while he's here, and I can show him things, you know? Yeah. That'd be cool. I hope that's the case. It seems like it would be, because I'm pretty sure that's all server-side. Yeah, it should be. Because if you notice, like, unlike pretty much every other game ever, like, there, there doesn't seem to be, a, like, an actual save file for the game for you. Like, that doesn't upload anything with PS Plus or anything like that. Right, I have noticed that. There seems to be no files transferring. So it should be all on the servers. Yeah. That's all I had to say, I think. Uh, PvP's pretty fun. It can be. <laughs> it's it's more fun if I have people to play. Like, playing by myself is just not that great. But when we were playing, like, five of us or six of us all together on Team Deathmatch, that was a lot of fun. That is, yeah. yeah. That was a really fun time when we had, like, George and we actually had a team... Yeah, we were pretty good as as a team playing. Just the fact that we could talk to each other like made you deadly in team deathmatch. Yeah, definitely. Made an actual team in team deathmatch is pretty sweet. Yeah, we should actually try to do that a little more often. Even if we don't have like a full group, the three v three stuff is really interesting too. Like they have one where you have to actually play as a team together because you can revive each other if you get killed. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not as good at that one. We did that a little bit with, with George, so. Yeah, that one, not my uh, style. <laughs> I have to be a lot more careful in that one. Whereas when I play control, it's just, ah! launch well, myself and everything. What I thought was kind of nice about it is it kind of forced us to stick together and play as a team. It did. Whereas I it's a team deathmatch, you can kind of just wander off and yeah. you know, do whatever. It's lone wolves everywhere. Yeah. Although, I mean, you could go with people, I and mean, we certainly did. Like, because we could talk to each other, be like, oh, hey, MT, let's go this way. Yeah. We do that, or like you know, when you were in the turret and you wanted to get out, like okay, you, someone you're, take over the turret. Yeah, go. someone jump the turret. Like all right, cool, I got it. Yeah. yeah, I actually did that with Nick, like the other day when he was working on one of his exotic bounties. He was yeah, the one for the shotgun. So he had to get the twenty five kill death ratio spread. So he sat in the turret and was picking people off, and I watched his back for him. <laughs> That's funny. That kind of stuff is pretty fun. Yeah, and you know, like, you always know when you're up against a team of people that are actually talking to each other because they're like yeah. way fucking better. Yeah, you fucking anytime you see one fucking take a shot and like two more pop up. Yeah. Boop, boop. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got him. Boop, boop. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, I was actually surprised how much I am enjoying the PvP because normally like even in a game I really like, I just I cannot get into the PvP that much. And this I actually have been able to. Yeah. And like even when I'm not doing that well, it's still fun, and I'm enjoying it. I've been enjoying it's, it more than I thought I would too. In the beta, like, I didn't even bother. I was like, eh, fuck it. I I actually went like I have had a lot of fun with it in the beta because I had that Iron Banner thing going a lot, and I enjoyed that more <clears> than the regular Crucible stuff. <laughs> you won't know. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'll, yeah. I'll be interested in seeing how that goes because I mean I I got a pretty decent setup on my gear, but there are people it's who like just... clear the raid multiple times yeah. a week. It's with, going like, to be a tryhard fiesta. Yeah, like I've I've seen the uh, the efforts some of the tryhards in the game go through too. Like there are people who all three of their character slots are all the same class, so that when they do the raid, they get the drops for their class <sighs> if they get drops. So they'll do it three times a week so they can get <laughs> gear for their character. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Well, in Jesus. five more days, you'll be able to check out Iron Banner for yourself, see how much you like it still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, at the very least, I want to get through it enough to get that cloak that I had in the beta because I <laughs> loved that thing. Your flowy silver cloak. Or whatever the fuck it was. I remember. It had, it had wolf heads on it and stuff. Yeah. It was cool. It was, it was pretty fucking clock. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PvP is surprisingly fun. I like that. And it is kind of cool to get to use your own weapons. It seems unbalanced at times, but I think that's just whiners whining. Yeah, that's that's always been the case, like especially MMO side of things. Like there's not like you will never stop hearing about, oh, you know, Blade Dancer is OP. No, fucking Titan's OP. No, it's the warlock that's OP. I it's died, like, you're OP. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like this thing. This person killed me. That means they're OP, and you need to nerf them now. Like the shotgun's OP. I'm like, no, he was three feet from you and shot you with it. You should die. <laughs> <laughs> he shot that you in the face at point blank range. You just chose a poor place to stand. That place being right in front of the enemy. <laughs> Guess what happens when you go around a corner? Boom. <laughs> so yeah, I, at first I felt like it, but once I actually got good at the game. I was like, oh, this is okay. I feel like I'm not just getting, ra- you know, completely railed on. Although that Blade Dancer is pretty fucking cheap in PvP, but I don't want yep. them to fix the Blade Dancer because I don't want it to be shitty in PvE. <laughs> yeah, well, and there are ways to deal with it, too. Like, I've I've seen, you know, I've gotten, you know, I do Blade Dancer in PvP, and, like, I've been taken out pretty efficiently sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if it's honestly, somebody who knows what the they're time, doing. jump in the fucking air. They won't even bother yeah. with you. You get out of their line of kill, they're not even going to bother. Just jump over them. <laughs> yeah, because like, the attacks don't go up or anything. It's like a straight forward attack kind of thing. Like They would then have to jump themselves to be able to right. hit you. Which would completely fuck up their flow. So they're yeah. just not going to bother. I've definitely noticed that kind of stuff. It's just it, it takes uh, time to familiarize. And as people learn this stuff, things start to change around. And that's what is always happening. People learn that they can go inside the Titan's bubble shield and do their super and fuck him up. <laughs> Instead of trying to go in there and punch him. Yeah, that never works. <laughs> I've tried. Well, stop well, that's, it. That's like the first instinct, though, too. It's like hard I'm to like, control you. it. Because like, oh no, I can't shoot into there. I have to get in there and punch him. It's Every like, no, fucking... you don't do I that because they have, they have more health in there. And if you step out of the bubble and back in, your little shield goes right back to full again. Yep. <laughs> Can't win. And God help them if you have a teammate in there with you, too. Oh, my <laughs> God. That is suicide. So, yeah, I like that. I like the varied stuff. And it, the supers feel kind of cheap at times, but, I mean, they are supers. Yeah, like what it comes down to is they feel cheap, but they all feel cheap. Right. Yep. Which means they're probably balanced. Yeah. Well, I guess that about does it. Yeah, I think we've not run out of things to talk about, but run out of things to talk about with Destiny for now. And time to talk about it. <laughs> we haven't been talking about it for, what, 45 minutes now or anything? Yeah, definitely not way too long or anything. No, no, of course not. We never we do ne- that. No, I don't know. So, well, uh, with Destiny... Played, you'll yeah. feel like you have. <laughs> With our Destiny talk finally done for now, we will bring this episode of this podcast to a close. So I want to say thank you very much, Kyle, for joining us. Yep. And Webhead, thank you for joining us as well. I'm glad you finally peeled each other away from Destiny long enough to do this. And now we go back to Destiny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See you in another month. I get a 40 yeah, minutes that's... before I need to go to bed. <laughs> it's like, I cannot like restate it off. That is telling, because like, we got Titanfall, we played it for like a you know, two weeks, maybe, and not this much. Yeah, not even close. Uh, yeah, so there, there's something going on right here. They just need to keep at it. Yeah, I, and I think this kind of highlights why Titanfall is essentially, like, half of a game. Like, it is. It's half of a Destiny. <laughs> it's the multiplayer <laughs> only. That is half of a game. 
So, yeah. Can't tell by now we really like Destiny. <laughs> yeah, I know. You could say it was Destiny. No. no. I wouldn't say that ever. <laughs> and you're a terrible person. <laughs> I had to. It had to be. Uh, no, it did not. <laughs> yes, it did. Stop. You got, the, you I, got I that. Was, you you got know. that no in stereo. You, you don't know, but I'm contractually obligated. So, ha. Wait, you're, you're getting so paid look, for this. I'm so look, for, for look this. forward to that joke no, next I, week. I didn't say it was a paying contract. <laughs> <laughs> MT told me he'd punch me in the genital. <laughs> oh shit! He said not to say it. Whoops. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I always mess that up. Well, since I'm hosting this for the first time and whatever, I will end this with a joke, a very dumb joke, and Kyle already knows it, but I'm ending it with this anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, I'm Webhead. in advance. <laughs> All right, here we go. What kind of pants does Mario wear? I don't know. What kind of pants? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start the podcast with that, but I totally forgot. <laughs> But it gets me every time. It is the dumbest fucking joke, but I can't help but laugh at it. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.